Hey guys, so it's Dane here with a video showing you how to get iOS 5 features today on your normal iOS 4 device. So of course there's a lot of new things in iOS 5, a lot of features and whatnot, but the great thing is a lot of these are already available in one form or another on your current devices. So maybe you don't have access to the beta, you're not a developer, or maybe you are but you just don't want to have to deal with some really glitchy and beta firmware, this is a great way to do it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is Mobile Notifier. Now this is a jailbreak tweak and you will find a couple of these are jailbreak tweaks, some of these are just apps you can find in the app store, but uh, this is a jailbreak tweak which is very very similar to the standard uh, notification center that you'll find in iOS 5. So in fact if I lock my device you'll see here that I have missed notifications so I can just tap on that and see that was mentioned on Twitter. Uh, it's not quite the same and in fact if I unlock here uh, for example if I had a push notification come in right now uh, you would see that it would just pop up up top. Um, it is very similar to, not to notification center again it's not 100% perfect um, but if you're just wanting notifications right now on iOS 4 this is a great way to go. Another nice thing in iOS 5 is the ability to take pictures from the lock screen as well as use the up uh, volume button to take pictures from the camera app. Well if you download the city tweak camera buttons you can do the exact same thing. So if we lock the thing right I'll click here and then from the lock screen if we hold the uh, the up arrow button it will go ahead and launch the camera app in addition while we're in the camera app all we need to do is hit the up volume button to take a picture Now this is customizable so if you like you can have that to uh, you know turn on or off HDR mode you can use either the volume buttons in addition you can also use it to do video there's quite a few different things you can do so this is really quite a handy tweak Another big feature in iOS 5 is iMessages. Now while there's no way to get the app itself on iOS 4, you can use some other app that does something similar. Uh, so one way you might want to go is Text Free. That's basically an app that allows you to send texts for free. Um, another way is Kick. Now Kick is very similar to the way uh, iMessages works. So if we went back out of here. Uh, so you can add anyone else who has the Kick app and it is available on several platforms. If you have them added up then you can go ahead and just send the messages. So if I want to send the message hi back to Quick. Uh, you know, you can absolutely do that. Moving on, we have Wi-Fi Sync. Now, of course, in iOS 5, you can uh, now wirelessly sync with iTunes as well as with iCloud. Um, and there is a somewhat decent way to do this in iOS 4. Now, the app is called Wi-Fi Sync, and I'll go ahead and launch it. Um, however, there are a couple of uh, issues with this. For one, it does not support the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch 4th generation, as you guys can see here. If you have it, it'll say unrecognized device. That's certainly a negative. And on top of that, it is $10 in the city of stores. So this is definitely not for everyone. But if you just have to have Wi-Fi sync with iTunes, you certainly can use this. In the iOS 5 camera app, you can do some limited photo editing. And of course, while that's nice to have it pre-built in, it's really simple to go ahead and just download the app, free app, uh, Photoshop Express from the App Store. It will allow you to do some of the basically the same thing. So let's just take a picture really quickly here. So I'll just kind of take a picture off to the side here. So an awesome picture of my desk. We can hop over here and we want to select this one. Uh, so you can do a lot of the same things. So for example, if I want to crop, I can do a little bit of cropping. Just get rid of that. Uh, so if you know you want to do that, you can do quite a few different things, rotating, flipping, you can do a little bit of the exposure and whatnot. So this is a really simple app and if you want to go ahead and use this right now, it's going to basically do the exact same thing. It's not going to be built into your camera app, but it's going to be close enough. Moving on, we have Remember the Milk. Now just like Kick, this is not going to be the exact app that you will find on iOS 5, but it will do about the same thing. So what Remember the Milk does is it allows you to add lots of tasks and whatnot, and it will let you know, like for example, I need to go get the milk, uh, and various different things like that. And what it will allow you to do is it will notify you when, what time you need to do whatever, and you can run through all of it uh, pretty simply. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't really particularly have a whole lot of use for this. I kind of just do whatever whenever which I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way but if you're looking for an app that's kind of equivalent to reminders on iOS 4 this is a great way to go. Another feature in iOS 5 that's not quite as well known is a private browsing mode. So while there are plenty of apps in the app store that allow you to uh, browse without leaving all kinds of history on your device uh, one of the best ways I like to do is go ahead and go into City and download Covert. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you guys it's really simple here. So if I want to uh, activate the private browsing mode I can just go ahead and pull up a new tab and click the new private browsing mode. Now if I jump back in you see that the uh, the entire interface is a little bit darker and now it's not going to be saving any cookies, history, anything like this. Now this is a free app in City, and this is just great to have in general. Anyway guys, that's it. So of course I didn't go over all apps. Some of the apps such as Instapaper would have been nice to have. But at any rate, hopefully you found this helpful and if you do want, go ahead and take a look in the description of this video. I'll have where you find all these apps and everything like that. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe up above and you'll be notified with all of my new content.